we all know that your skating is very creative and unique. And, and I'm wondering what like pushed you to encourage you to have like the confidence to, to try these kind of creative ideas. Cause it seems like, is that just like a part of your personality or was like that they're like some like exterior motivation for these kind of things? Oh yeah. It's, it's something that I always want to do. And, and as a videographer, like I, I, the, and also being autistic, like the things that really stand out, stand out to me. It's like, you know, it's like the things that are different are the things that, that speak to me and the things that I, I want to see. Um, but as far as like actually, and I've always had ideas, but I was usually too scared to do them. But what, what I think as of, as of recently, the biggest thing, the bit, two biggest things for me to just to like really let go and, and really just be like, or push myself out there was um, I talked to my, I talked to like a new psychiatrist, psychiatrist one day. He's like, oh man, you're really talented. You should, you know, share those talents with, with people. And, and so I was like, oh, you know what? I should do that. And then like, um, my, I, I started skating with a, a buddy he, or a buddy started skating again. His name is Nick Kitraban. And like, he just got so juiced whenever anybody did a trick and, and especially me in particular. Um, and like, it was, it was an enthusiasm that felt so overwhelming and genuine that it's like, it was hard for me to ignore. And, I, and, I, and, and essentially, I, you know, when we skated, like I wanted to do really cool stuff just you know to see his excitement and um you know he was definitely happy to film me do that stuff and and it's like oh you know if i could share excitement with you know that you know get him that excited and 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 happy like you know maybe i can do that for other people and that's when i, I really just started going in into like okay i'm I've got an idea let's just do it see what happens and put it out there if it sucks you know i can I can delete it or whatever or or you know whatever but just put it out there and, and see what happens and and i've just been doing that since and it's it also seems that <clears throat> may, like from the beginning like austin mentioned and you showed us um the bunk bed thing that you were grinding and, and your dad building that it seems like the carpentry and construction is a big part of like achieving these these tricks like you're making like a a pvc rail that's like an s or like the, the drop down on one to another it seems like there's a lot of that stuff was that um inspired by your dad from that time we're showing you construction where did you like get into the, that like aspect of it too because it's not just like you're you're being you're going to spots and you're being creative at the spots but then you're being creative making and constructing the spots too so that's pretty, really fascinating yeah, um, so, I mean, my dad's okay at making things, and I am, I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near adept at making anything at all. I just, um, you know, I saw what he did, and I started being like, okay, well, what can I do? And then it usually just, it usually starts with an idea, really, like an idea that I feel compelled that I have to create. Um, and then it's like the same thing of when I was a kid, like, I'm, I'm not taking any breaks, I'm not stopping until I do this thing, and it's going to work. And it's going to work one way or another. Like all of my energy goes into like all of my energy, like everything in reserves goes into creating this, creating something. And, and, you know, I, I may mess up, but for some reason it seems to work out because I don't know what I'm doing at all. It just, it just <laughs> seems to happen um, by, by, I guess, pure, pure force. Um, just because <laughs> I want, I'm just because I want to do it so much. Yeah, well, it looks, it looks, I, I really like the ideas and I, I like, I like that it's cool. Um, and I like that um, you're creating these things, not only just like on the skates, but like actually the spots themselves. Um, so I've mentioned this ever since Colin said it on the episode, I like, because I'm just so <laughs> enthralled with learning a new word. But so there's obviously like a, the, a pedagogy that he speaks of in skating. Um, <clears throat> and it seems like you're always, pushing that uh idea like a, a around and uh testing things um trying like things on new skates and and everything like that yeah i'm just i'm just curious like the intention behind i mean i think it's kind of obvious like to kind of push the limits and have fun but i'm wondering if there's like any like if there's like a, like a comedic aspect behind some of these things, or if there's like a playful aspect, like I'm, I'm, I'm wondering like the thought process behind the, the creation of some of these moves, if that's not too weird of a question. The reason why 
I fell in love with skating and you know rollerblading is that there are essentially no rules other than the rules that we put on, on ourselves and the confinements that we put on ourselves um and, you know there's there's like when i skate there's really nobody yeah you know, i mean there are people telling me that i shouldn't do something but you know that's <laughs> more fuel for me to be like why should why shouldn't i you know it's like it's like if i can you know why why can't i so it, a lot of that is that it's like can i do something and it's like well let's let's find out <laughs> will, will this will this wacky idea actually work out I don't know. It is wacky, but you know we're here, and it's 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 you know it's science. Let's science the crap out of this, and and see if I can actually do these things. And and I you know I surprise myself a lot of times where it's like, oh, this can actually work, and you know what, it can work well if you you figure out all the kinks. Um, and you know it's just it's just an additional layer to add. It's like it may not be something that becomes popular or whatever, but it doesn't you know it. it I appreciate you know I can appreciate the existence of something that I didn't know could exist prior to and that's what I, I like to I like to see stuff like that so I like to also you know try to put more things like that out into the world.